Hello, I'm Atris and welcome back to Endless Space 2 Preview, early access thing, early access, that's the one. Uh, right, um, we are currently working our way to a bigger hull size and then we're going to have a war against the Vodjani because honestly they've been an absolute pain in the ass. So, that's the next turn. Ooh, new hero for recruitment, come on, be a military one. Guardian focuses on fleet warfare and industrial production. Overseer. Seeker. Yeah, it's you. And you've got flagship. Ooh. Okay. You are like some sort of, I think you're a craver. So you are like, yeah, you are a craver. So you are like technically evil, but eh. And it will, ha it will make you the leader of the militarist political party. Great, having a craver in charge, that's going to go well. Put you in charge of that fleet. Okay, repair the fleet. Merge the fleet. Heal that one. Merge you, and put you on guard duty, so I think when you get here, you'll fight me. Maybe we should put you in charge. Ah, oh, I can't. Yeah, you're locked when I put you on a thing. I can't just switch you around the galaxy, which makes a lot of sense, but it doesn't allow me to cheese things. Okay. I wish I could change your flagship around. Let's look at it. Ooh. Ionic Torpedo. Haven't seen that one before. We have got basic fusion torpedoes and improved fusion torpedoes. Okay, first time we've already seen those appear. Hmm. More crit chance, plus one damage, and they do two ranges rather than just the one. Yeah, improved sync lasers are just better. This is going to cost a lot to upgrade, and I'm not going to be able to do it this turn. I realize that. But I'd like to see how much it's going to cost. Um... Ah, god damn it. Right, so we've got two... What are these called? Support modules. And I will put Nanobot Repair in you. Because I want you to heal up so you don't die. And then we've got two shield modules. Are you only fighting modules? Yeah, it's a lot of fighting, but not much defense. And then in terms of defense, we could go for improved plasmal shielding. Um, energy defense, shield value, health bonus. Again, I think it's mostly projectiles at this stage. Okay. We just have a thousand dust. We'll be able to do it. Right. Well, we need a thousand dust then, don't we? Yes, we'll lose the changes. It's going to take us, uh, what, like eight turns? Seven turns? Eh, it's not too bad. Could be worse. Right, go murder something. Hi. I'm going to watch this just for the sake of lol, it's going to be funny rather than any particular reason beyond that. They're going to get murdered. I'm going to watch our fleet come in, because this is the biggest fleet we've seen yet. And it contains our hero. Hello! 
Your ship doesn't match our color scheme, but okay. I really think you should match our color scheme. Lovely. Missiles? Yes. Keep it up. And they're gone. Decisive victory. Fully approve. Uh, we could just set up a blockade. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that. We'll set up a blockade. Wrecked Ark. Ooh. Click to start repairing this Ark. It will take turns. What is this? And 150, 150 dust to repair the Wrecked Ark. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that was possible. There's another one over here. What do we need? Do we need you? Probably not. We probably need like a special repair ship, but we'll try using a discovery ship anyway. No. Let's try. That's pretty cool. Right. Are we good? You only got skills to assign? No? No. Um you're all done with your building. Cool. Hi! Now you have to fight me. Because I'm guarding the system. I think. Yes, you do. Hello! I won't watch that because it's going to be the same old fight. The third Rust Purge! If we don't like Rust, oxidization is bad. Um, and we will check the prowlers in as well for good measure. Hello! Oh, can we only have the one fight? Oh no, there we go. We'll watch you. We haven't seen you fight yet. And our battle plan for you is going to be... Close range. Let's do it. Ooh, it's a pretty big ship there. I'm glad we borrowed it off our, uh, our new client state. I'm not a massive fan of the ship design. But it's pretty cool. Bring those guns to bear. Now we're at close range. Now you can die. Or I can just get a super close view and not see anything. Come on. Show me all the things. There we go. That damage is pitiful. What the hell are you equipped with? Key shooters? This is truly dreadful. You've got like a decent sized hull, but you've equipped it with like the equivalent of like a... Oh, let's take this biro apart, put a bit of like spit paper in it and just fling it across the, ca the classroom and hit on the girl in the front row. Like, what the hell? What weapon you bring to battle? That was that was awful. 
That was truly awful. Um, I'll split you when we get to the next system. I'll send one of you up to our cap. Uh, what do we want? We probably want another couple of accelerators while we wait. Oh, election. Oh, hello. Hello. Pass this in you. I'm going to officially support the scientists for all the good it'll do. Oh, hello. The pacifists actually win, but only just. The militarists have lost a lot of power. And everyone's only got moderate support now. Love, not war rule. Plus 10 happiness per piece, per, plus 10 per alliance. Eh. Double bonus on penalties related to approval. Double bonuses, all penalties related to approval on systems. Okay. Hmm. Fair trade bill. Uh, per trading company, plus 20% dust. Eh. Okay, not a massive fan of those. Trusted broker has been activated. Uh, diplomacy cost reduced. Okay. It's not the worst thing to happen. And to Kel, you now have... Oh, God, you've got... Just, I have no idea what. Clone exchange, plus one on dry. Yes, we'll do these. Those are dry planets after all. That'll work well. You. Go. Kill. Won't watch. Same as usual. Done. Heal. Go to Artemis, and that's the other choke point we'll need to cover. Okay, so you, new fleet, you, new fleet, and that should mean that everyone's got one in orbit. Now, Columba, you can also colonize this one. You should probably do so. Hmm, you still got the, over, the over-colonization thing still up. Ah, you know what, whatever. We'll do it. I don't care. Right, we've lost the science ones we had active, which is really annoying. Um, yeah, because I can't do the one that need broad support anymore. That's annoying. Plus 20% dust on systems. That is tempting. Yeah, let's vote for it. Wartime Texas. Still, we need to improve the scientists. Uh, are we good? We're good. Oh, level ups. New era, wealth of worlds, okay. Lovely. Oh, the tense political rivalry between militarism and pacifism in the Varak system has risen to emergency levels. The militarist faction has ordered the construction of an intricate system spanning barricade between Varak's inner and outer planets. Intersystem movement has been severely restricted, and many citizens have been cut off from their families and friends. The inner pacifist plants have petitioned your help. Ooh. So you can go for happiness at the loss of production, or you can go for a lot of production and a lot of influence. Honestly, we need the influence in Varak. We need the influence in Varak. We don't need the happiness. Honestly, we don't need the production either, but we need the influence. And I don't want to make the peace ideology any stronger, so... We need the influence there. I'm sorry. More Sophons. Oh, hello. Let's assign you some skills. Mm. 
Let's go for troops as well. Buffing the troops there might be reasonable. And you. Oh, wrong one. Well, we can do it from here anyway. That took a lot of clicking. I did not actually mean to do that. We probably want the happiness stuff, but where is the happiness stuff? I mean, I could look through the entire tree, but I, I, I can't be bothered. I'm sorry. Um, I will instead go for a little bit of science because I love science, and I need the scientist faction to be happy with me. Not that they're going to be particularly happy with me. Aren't you in charge of like the industrialists? There we go. Colonial rights. That's going to make the ecologists a faction, but... C'est la vie, I believe the term is. C'est la vie. Do we need it here? Everyone's pretty ecstatic. Or Man, they're not full. They could be full. Yeah, let's get them to full. Okay. Right, the next one we're doing the awesome hulls. Five turns until we've got some pretty badass hulls. I'm looking forward to that. Right, you need to guard that. Right, they shouldn't be able to get into our systems anymore. The blockade is up. It should be capable of killing an arc in one turn. Well, we're going to get tests that soon. An arc is coming down to here, which is five and the hero ship. The hero ship, of course, being kind of... Ugh. We haven't upgraded it yet. Oh, hey, Lord. Looks like you've come into system. Let us fight you. Can we kill him in one turn? The answer is probably not. Probably need one more ship to do it. No, we did. Sweet. There we go. Can't fight you because we're not allowed to fight in their zone of control. We'll come to that. When real war happens. We need to be able to do proper diplomacy for that early though. And pending turn. Pending turn. Ecologist, yeah, there we go. I expected them to become a thing, and they're probably going to dominate everywhere. Uh, I guess you could put an infinite supermarket down. Why not? Make yourself happy forever. Could go for growth, I guess, as well. Right. I wonder if we could explore further afield. Kind of lame I'm stuck in this one constellation at the moment. I want to go around. Oh yeah. Let's get ourselves that new craft. Um, Smasher. That's pretty cool. Okay. Edit. What have you got? Uh, basic fusion torpedoes, 19 damage. Basic Maggie laser. I don't even have basic fusion missiles unlocked.
Wait, what? 19 damage, plus 5 crit. Long range. 40 industrial. 13, 5, long range, 60 industrial. Less damage and 50% more expensive. And this is three little pips. This only has two. This is technically a lesser tech, which makes sense with the industrial. But it's so much stronger. What? I don't really want to mess with that. Do you want to mess with any of these? I mean, this would cost me Hyperion, but make it quicker to construct ever so slightly, because it's only 30 as opposed to 45. Actually, I just made it more expensive. Wait, what did it have before? 80-20 for 30. Wait, what? The modules it's got in by default are just better than the ones I even have. Reset the design. I'm building you as you are. I mean, you've only got long-range weapons. But why the hell would I even mess around with anything on this ship? How about the engine? Oh, it's just a plus one and a plus 40 health. Uh, that seems pretty standard. Nope. Plus 40 health is double what I've got. I have no idea what's going on here. Although that said, uh, you should have Hyperium Engine because I want the extra movement. I, I think the extra movement's valid. But we're also going to give you this. The Flitadilla does now that 20... The Flotilla now does 12% extra damage. I'm just... I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm at loss for words. This ship is just... Oh, no. Cancel. This ship is just awesome. Apply design. Now let's just check. Uh, oh, no. Edit. Right. What speed do you do? 8. That's not good enough. You need to be 10. There we go. Right. New plan. Build me a few smashes. How many like slots to take up? Only three? Yeah, build me like two. And we'll build like a couple of accelerators somewhere. And then every fleet will have one of those and five of the other ones, and it'll be awesome. At some stage, you're gonna have to get upgraded. Yeah, it's gonna cost quite a lot to get you upgraded. That's regardless of the fact that to get the hero upgrade, it's gonna cost us a lot. In fact, let's look at your ship now and upgrade it. Um, let's just humor you for a moment and get rid of all of these. In fact, can I just reset that? Let's just double check. Yeah, no, you've actually got normal stuff, which is terrible. Um, right. Weaponry. We're going to give you... Sync lasers. I mean, the plasma beam is pretty awesome, but it's short range only. That said, the plasma beam is pretty awesome. And it uses titanium, which I don't have much of. What would make you like a brawler? Okay, let's just have you just because I actually like the weapon animation. Yeah, let's do it for the weapon animation. Uh, what else do we need? They do crazy amounts of damage, though. 21 with 20% crit. Um, we need armor, 60-20, 60-20. And then heal. And then a 10 engine. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Apply design. Yeah, we just paid for it. So expensive. But totally worth it. We now have an amazing uh, hero ship. In addition... Ooh, nine. Are we allowed... Sweet. 
we should be able to get uh, one of our new special ships we've made and six accelerator fours. This fleet's going to be badass. I'm really looking forward to running this fleet out. Doesn't look like the AI has done anything at this stage. Um, do you really want to fight me? How strong are you? Actually, you are stronger than me. We're going to have to have words about you. What are you, 27, 18? What are you? Yeah, the poacher by yourself can take it. Poacher, get over it. Merge. Fight. Medium range. Fight. I won't watch. There we go. No performance anxiety there. Just get it done. I believe we're good. Our military is coming along nicely. We should be able to take them out without too much hassle in the near future. They haven't really shown me the ability to have any sort of fleet or even any sort of proper effort to actually defeat us uh, other than just like running single arcs past us, which has just resulted in their death. So that's pretty stupid of them. What do we want in the way of research? Um, we're up to level three now. Neptun containment, antimatter capture. Trade route income. Adamantium alloys. Uh, Antimatter weapons. High energy magnets. Reduction in overcolonization. How long will that take me to get? Six turns. Uh... Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of that, if it's going to take that long. Ocean worlds, we could do with that. There are quite a few worlds we could do with colonizing, but then again, we are kind of over-colonized at the moment, so I'm a little bit wary. We can do diplomacy of the Empire now, so we can just talk to the Vodjani. Hmm. More resources? Tempting. Industrial zones. Trading companies. Let's go that trading company stuff. And then we'll get pull this construction. That should help with the dust stuff. We're way ahead in tech. Don't need to worry about tech for the moment. Mm. Empire improvement. Over colonization penalty. Not bad. For now, we'll stick with these. The happiness thing we kind of sorted in a sort of mid range. We'll just stick plants up, uh, not planets, um, ships above them to make them happier. But in the in the medium term, we're going to aim for the happiness stuff. Short term, we'll go for the dust because that'll help us upgrade our fleets, and we will want that. But we also should be able to now talk to people. Hi. So we can declare war. Training stats will decrease if we close borders. Oh, hello. I'm going to just propose this. Give me all your stuff. Yeah. There we go. Give me all your stuff. The offering has a mark of the infidel. We refuse. Worth a try. And also gives me an excuse. I'm going to go to war with you because you're not generous. You should share, right? Sharing is caring. And obviously, if you don't care about me, then I don't care about you. Or the massive war I'm going to inflict upon you. So I tried. I really did try. What do you want? Varak public partnerships. Sounds good to me. Well, you'll take a bit too long to make the snasher, but almost worth it. A couple of accelerators. I 
And actually, we've got an accelerator there, which is perfect. Because this accelerator should be over here. And that makes the fleet big enough to have the new ship, the new ship, and then a couple of accelerators over here spare for when we lose ships in the coming battle. But, I've been Aerolistium. If you enjoyed, please like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Also, consider hitting the little bell icon next to subscribe so that you get notified about videos. And until next time, stay shiny. <laughs>